Pet of the Week is brought to you by Riptide Smoke Shop in Belfast. Hey, welcome back, everyone. It's my favorite day of the week. It's time for our weekly Pet of the Week segment. And Catherine Ravenscraft joining us from Bangor Humane Society again. Nice to see you again. Good morning. Who do we got here? Who's this great guy? This is Danny Boy. Hi, Danny Boy. Yeah, <laughs> and he is a great dog, too. So Danny good? Boy is um, a hound mix of some sort. I mean, if you look at these big old floppy ears. Oh, yeah. And yeah, what? Oh, you don't want me to touch those? <laughs> um, and he is just an absolute sweetheart. He has been with us um, for several months. He came in as a stray, so there's not a whole mm -hmm. lot that we know about him. Yeah, we think boy. that he will probably be okay with uh, kids, cats, dogs. Um, although I believe that he may be marked as um, a maybe for kids kids only because mm -hmm. he's so busy right. um, but talk to our adoption counselors about all those specifics if he is someone that you are interested in um, but what a great personality though he's been so getting nothing sweet. but love since he came to the station yes exactly he's soaking it up and he's yeah. really the You're perfect doing. example of a dog nice. that doesn't show well <laughs> in yeah. a kennel but once you get him outside of the kennel you. he is he is friendly and loving and he really he wants to be good. I think he is malleable. I don't right. know that he knows a whole lot beyond maybe sit if there's a treat involved, but I think that he will be an easy one to, to train up. Yeah, just work with him a little bit. I bet this guy just, he would be a great runner too. He just wants to run in a field somewhere. You exactly, know? So. yeah. He is um, not great for apartment living. Mm -hmm. A lot of hound dogs are not great for yeah. apartment living because they're loud and they need sure. a lot of exercise. Yeah. Come on up, come um, on up, buddy. But he is, he <laughs> He is just a spectacular boy. Uh, yeah. So when you come into the kennel, he does a lot of barking. He does a lot of parkour. Yeah. <laughs> but um, once you get him out, yeah, he. I know. Easy there. Easy I there. Know, he wants to play now. He does. He so, does. He so does. he's in like the back back area of the kennel um, where you keep the other strays, and you've got a lot of long-term doggies there too, we looking do. for homes. Yeah, yeah. long-term, long-stay dogs. Uh, we've had dogs that have been there for four, six, eight months. Um, some good. of them. A year or more. And, <laughs> Sorry, um, I didn't mean to pull your arm. No, off. no, no, that's okay. I'm used to it. Um, and uh, what are you doing? we, they all also present a lot like Danny Boy in the kennel. There's a lot of barking, there's a lot of jumping. But it's really hard living in a six by six kennel for months yeah. on end. And we love them a whole lot, but they are trying to get your attention. Yep. There's nothing aggressive about them. They're just they talking. They just want attention. And exactly. Yeah. And yeah. they need the mental stimulation. So a lot of them need to go home and be the only child in the home. Right. And it's it's less and less unusual to see oh, dogs there we go. like that. There we go, um, right there. There it is. <laughs> they just need um, some extra training and some extra attention. They're quirky, you yeah. know? We like to say dogs are people too. Mm -hmm. People are we quirky. We all have our quirks. Exactly, yeah. so are dogs. Yeah, maybe talk to the folks there at the Humane Society. They can kind of tell you about them, you exactly. know, what you'll be facing. And yeah, and um, we can also tell you how to help a, a long-stay dog transition a little more easily yeah. into your home. Um, one of the things is to give them space, give mm -hmm. them time. Don't give them too many treats. Right. Don't give them too many toys because that's when you see resource guarding yep. uh, start to rear its head. Um, so there, there are a lot of ways that, that you can help transition a long stay dog into your home and they're they're so wonderful. Yeah. yeah they'll well, give you so much. Well, I know you have so many doggies there, lots of cats too. So if people have some room in their their homes, even if you can't right now, maybe you might want to consider a donation to the Humane Society or maybe a shelter in your area because they always need help with resources. Now he sees the tight shot of his exactly. face. Exactly. So I was wondering. It? It's you, silly. It's you. It's you. Don't worry. Oh. Yeah, he's a good looking dog. Huh? He is. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Catherine and Danny Boy, thanks for coming in this week. Thank you. Very We're going to take a break and send it to Devin, and I'm going to play with Danny Boy a little more. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>